Hello, and welcome to the Community and School Garden Program, Garden Literacy Read Aloud. Today we will be reading C is for Coyote, a Southwest alphabet book. Looking at our cover, what do you think the book is about? Pause the video, look for clues, and think about your ideas. Then, share your thoughts with someone. Come back when you're done. C is for Coyote, a Southwest alphabet book. Photographs by Art Wolf and Gabrielle Jacon. Text by Andrea Hellman. A is for Arches. Delicate Arch stands alone surrounded by sculptured rock towers and domes that are more than 150 million years old. Ice, snow, rain, and wind will eventually destroy these natural works of wonder and at the same time create new ones. B is for Bobcat. Peering out from a rocky den, this Bobcat awaits the night, his favorite time to hunt. A solitary animal, the Bobcat may look like a sweet pet, but it is really quite fierce. His growl is very deep and scary. C is for Coyote. One of the most adaptable animals in the world, coyotes are very clever. Yip, yip, ow! Known for their distinctive howl, some Native Americans call coyotes song dogs and interpret their howling to predict the weather. D is for dune. Like rippled white snow, huge mounds of sand form dunes at White Sands National Monument. The dunes are always on the move as strong winds blow the sparkly crystals up one side and whoosh down the other. E is for elk. Using a keen sense of smell to detect danger, and long, agile legs to run and jump, male elks call out like bugles when looking for a mate. They polish their five-foot antlers on tree trunks and shed them after mating season. F is for flowers. Thousands of perennials, like these brightly colored asters, bloom year after year throughout the Southwest. The Navajo sometimes use the dried powdered plant to relieve headaches, toothaches, and sore eyes. G is for Grand Canyon. How did the Grand Canyon become so grand? It took five million years for the Colorado River to carve it, creating the largest and deepest canyon in North America. It's the eighth natural wonder of the world. H is for Hummingbird. Slurp! The brightly covered calliope hummingbird whizzes about searching for sweet nectar to eat. Only three inches long, the smallest bird in North America eats half of its weight each day. For you, that would mean 80 hamburgers a day. Woo! I is for Indian ruin. Nestled below towering cliffs or perched high on ledges are the ruins of ancient villages. Rock art decorate the walls surrounding the cliff dwellings at White House ruins, built by prehistoric Anasazi Indians. J is for Javelina. You would probably smell these Javelinas before seeing them. Their musky odor helps the nearsighted creatures locate other herd members. Javelinas eat fruits and nuts, but their favorite meal is the prickly pear cactus. Ouch! K is for Kestrel. Clee, clee, clee! This small, colorful falcon makes up for its size with a piercing call. Sometimes called a sparrowhawk, the American Kestrel has the clear facial markings of the falcon family, sideburns, and a mustache. L is for lizard. Is that lizard doing push ups? When in danger, 
Some lizards can shed their tails to free themselves from an attacker. Within a month, most lizards regrow their tails, which help them climb, swim, and run. M is for mountain lion. Mountain lions, found more in the Southwest than anywhere else in the United States, are strong and agile hunters. They can lead great distances, sometimes half the length of a basketball court. N is for Native American. Tewa deer dancers move to the boom, boom, boom of drums at the San Ildefonso Pueblo feast day. The dance, like a prayer, honors the animals they imitate. O is for owl. The tiny elf owl spends its days safe from predators in a cozy cactus home drilled by a woodpecker. At night, the owl's excellent eyesight and hearing will lead it to a yummy meal of large insects. P is for Pueblo. 1,000 years ago, Pueblo Indians mixed water, straw, and earth, adobe, to create the Taos Pueblo, one of the oldest communities in the United States. In Spanish, Pueblo means town. Q is for quail. The social gambles quail is widespread and well adapted for the desert. Darting across the ground, this talkative bird chooses flight over fight. When disturbed, the flock rushes around in different directions, flapping their wings wildly to confuse any predators. R is for rattlesnake. Back off, warns a startled rattlesnake with the shake shake of its tail. Rattlers can't hear, so to find food they catch scents with their tongues or follow the ground vibrations of lizards and small animals. S is for saguaro. The giant saguaro, which is the largest cactus in the United States, can live up to 200 years and weigh as much as a small elephant. Growing up to 50 feet tall, the saguaro produces a fragrant fruit and is home to more than a dozen species of birds, small mammals, and insects. T is for tarantula. This tarantula has eight eyes, but uses sensitive leg hairs for guidance because it's almost blind. If food is scarce, tarantulas simply plug up their underground burrows and take a snooze for more than two years without food. U is for ultraviolet rays. Invisible ultraviolet UV rays are created by the sun, our nearest star. Even though the sun is 93 million miles away, these rays are harmful to your skin and eyes. So smooth on some sunscreen and slip on a pair of cool sunglasses. V is for vulture. Dark feathers absorb the sun's heat and warm the turkey vulture's body after a cool night. Awkward on land, this large bird of prey spreads its wings and soars effortlessly on the warm desert air in search of its next meal. W is for wolf. Does this Mexican gray wolf look like a dog? That's because wolves are ancestors of dogs. Nearly extinct, the Mexican gray wolf is an endangered species now being raised in captivity and released back into its wilderness home. X is for San Javier del Bach Mission. This bright adobe mission, which has survived earthquakes, flood, and war, is called the White Dove of the Desert. Filled with paintings, sculptures, and wall murals, the mission poses many mysteries. Who built it? Who were the artists? And why was it left unfinished? Why is for yucca. Scattered throughout the southwest deserts, the soap tree yucca is named for the soapy substance found inside its roots. The yucca provides perches for hawks, tender flower stalks for hungry cattle and deer, and gentle soap for washing hand-woven rugs and blankets. Z is for Zion. Look up! 
Zion National Park has some of the highest cliffs in America, 2,000 feet from top to bottom. Zion is home to many mammals, birds, sandstone sculptures, and waterfalls. Well, that was the last letter of the alphabet. Before we finish with our book today, let's think of these questions. What was your favorite animal in this book and why? Then, name things from the book that you've encountered in real life. 